The Grand Theft Auto series is known for many different things, most notably its violence and well-detailed maps, also memes. What? So you might be asking yourself, what on earth does this have to do with the theme of the channel? Well, in between killing innocent people and bank heists, you can fit in a little game of tennis or darts here and there. Between three GTA games, there are 12 sports I'm going to rank from the worst to the best because why not? Before the list starts, I just want to clarify that I'm not counting gambling, working out, yoga, or racing in this list. Arm wrestling. So I only have the PS3 version of GTA 5, so not only do I have to wait 2,735 hours in order for the game to load, the servers are also deader than an incel's DMs. I also didn't feel like buying the GTA 4 DLC just to get two minutes of footage. I remember playing this and it's just a degenerate minigame of violently waggling the sticks back and forth like a Mario Party minigame. Honestly, I don't know how you can make arm wrestling better, but maybe the problem is arm wrestling shouldn't be a minigame anyway. Basketball. On the surface, a basketball minigame sounds pretty fun, but then you start to play it and it's like, ugh, ugh. This is just shooting jumpers. You press a button and release it at the top of CJ's jump in order to make a shot. You can activate a challenge mode where you make shots in a time limit from certain areas on the court. You can also do the most unsatisfying dunk in the history of video games. Shouldn't there be some type of sound effect or noise or something? I mean, this whole thing just looks really ugly. Even the basketball itself doesn't bounce like a normal basketball. It bounces like a basketball that's under like 10 times normal gravity. You know, CJ is a lot like me. He dribbles awkwardly, he has a weird jump shot, and he has pretty terrible attributes. What's so different about us? Whatever you say, bitch. Wow. Darts. If you were to just throw bullseyes over and over again, that would get pretty boring pretty fast. So instead you have to whittle your score down to zero without going over. Each section on the board has a number value next to it, and the outer ring is worth double that value. In order to win, you have to end the game by hitting the outer ring that's worth double, or a bullseye. It sounds like a lot, but aiming isn't really all that hard. And believe it or not, I passed first grade math, everyone, so I know how to break the score down. I just keep aiming for bullseyes and then go for the win when the number gets small enough. Look at that! Guards! It's virtually the same exact game. I rank GTA 5 above the GTA 4 version because you can set up the conditions of the game, and the characters have a bit more character when they win or lose. Keep an eye on me, bro. I'm dangerous. It's still the same easy game of darts. You have to be a complete knuckle-dragging moron in order to lose. You busted like an old condom. Total fucking horse shit. What are you doing? Hunting. You're just going around shooting the shit out of animals. Just bad luck. There are a couple of cool mechanics like Cletus asking for specific kills and shooting specific areas offers up more points. But the thing is, the animals appear on the radar. So this is pretty much just randomly killing animals when you come across them on the map, as opposed to using your equipment and environment to your advantage like actual hunting. Also, the process of scoring points is so overly cumbersome. After killing the animal, you have to Walk up to it, take out your phone, open your camera, take a picture, open your contacts, find Cletus, then send it to him. What's the point in doing all that? Why can't it just be like, hey man, you killed an animal, here's five points. Pool! I'd like to point out that neither basketball or pool is on the map in GTA San Andreas, so you gotta go out of your way to find them yourselves, which is a little annoying. This is a pretty good game of pool though. The physics are good, you can add spin to your shot, and you can even make wagers. Game of pool ain't the same without a little money involved. You can also listen to the insane San Andreas radio while playing. Ride the log flume. Live the adventure of the flaming screen machine. Glory Hole theme park. Glory Hole. Open every day till 3 a.m. 
Come live the mystery. What? There are a couple of things that hold it back, though. Positioning your shot can be so slow. Could you be any slower? And all of this info on the UI gets in the way and just looks cluttered as all hell. You could turn it off, but you have to do it each shot. Hey, if you lose all your money, there's always another way to get it back. Tennis. A fairly good game of tennis. You have drop shots, back spins, top spins, and even meat spins. It's a standard game of tennis. I suspect this would be fun with another human player as opposed to the AI. But the way the AI dives for balls they have no chance at always makes me laugh. But overall, it's tennis in GTA 5. It's good for what it is. Cool! Much more refined than the San Andreas version. Movement speed has been increased greatly while still having the slow, precise movement if you want it. Also, the UI isn't popping up all over the screen like I'm trying to watch an illegal stream of a pay-per-view. You still have the ability to put some spin on the ball, which sets up some pretty good shots. You can also try and get a little tricky if you want to. I am the greatest! The only thing is that you don't have the ability to wager anymore, but this is a pretty good game of pool. Triathlon. This one has the most variety out of everything on this list. You start off swimming, then head to biking, then have a sprint to the finish. Hello? Yeah, hey! I love the fact that this uses the core gameplay mechanics. While doing all this, you have to manage a stamina bar too. This is all good stuff, but it has one major flaw. If you max out your character's stamina meter, then your stamina doesn't deplete when playing this mode. So what I'm saying is, one of the main concepts of the mode is completely nullified, thus making everything a bit too easy. Had a lot of fun with this one though. Bowling. Okay, memes aside, this is actually pretty fun. No wonder Roman always wanted to play it. You position yourself and use the right stick to bowl. The faster you push the stick forward, the faster the ball would go. After the ball is released, you can curve the ball, which is super satisfying to pull off. Even more satisfying is the ability to knock pins into one another to get a spare. Something spare? I don't know how close this is to mimicking real life, but it perfectly mimics how I bowl in real life. I could rocket the ball at like 7,000 miles per hour and always get a split. But if I roll the ball as slow as the universe could possibly allow a bowling ball to be rolled, I get a strike. It doesn't make any sense. And I like to point out that the logo for this bowling alley is, uh, well, PENIS! Yeah, you thought I wouldn't notice, Rockstar? Base jumping. Another one that has some variety to it. You have to jump off a high height. High height? Isn't that redundant? You have to jump off from a great height and use your parachute to land. There are different base jumps. Some require you to land in the middle of a target. Some want you to parachute through goal markers, then land. Some want you to land on a moving target like a boat. Yeah, nice, bro. Whoa. What the hell is this guy doing? I'll handle this like most problems in my life. This is really fun, and the developers had enough foresight to add a bike when you land for convenience sake. Really good stuff here. Golf! Well, this isn't surprising, as everyone knows golf is the most violent and dangerous sport in the whole world. Golf in GTA 5 is just done so well, though. Shots can be affected by the wind, you can add spin onto the ball, and multiple different clubs to choose from. You also have different shot modes. For instance, you can focus more on power, or you can focus more on accuracy. Putting takes into consideration the wind along with the slope of the surface you're standing on. Fire in the hole! Even when failing, it's pretty funny and relatable. I hate this fucking game. 
They clog in so many golf mechanics in here, kind of like how a Big Mac clogs your arteries, but it just works. I played multiple times to try and best my own score because I had that much fun with it. It's the simplest game, but it's the best in my opinion. Just don't try and enter the course at night. Hey, get out! This is private property! Alright, fair enough. I will put you in the fucking hospital! Settle down, you freak. Come on, let's see what you got. What the fuck? I'm surprised we didn't see anything like baseball or boxing in any of these games yet. Maybe in the year 2035 when GTA 6 comes out, we may actually get those things and others. But for now, let's just settle for what we have now. Eh, mostly. Thank you guys once again for watching. I'll never ask you to leave a like, but I do have a goal in mind. And that goal is to survive a 5 star wanted level in real life. And if you like the video, I get one step closer to that goal.